Hey guys, Omar here and I'm freezing. <laughs> Starting to get a little warmer so we can start shooting outside. Look, there's geese over there. Look at that. This 4K footage is brought to you by the Fuji X-T30. All right, so I'm out here shooting with the Fuji X-T30 for the first time. I actually also brought the Fuji X-T20. Here it is in my pocket. Uh, and I don't know what I'm doing. I had all these plans to do comparison and oh, I'm just not super excited about shooting brick walls and comparing them on the computer, but I'll do my best for you guys. I have the kit lens on there, but I also brought the 16 millimeter 1.4 because as you know, I need more practice with that focal length. We're here in Nutley, New Jersey at the Kingslands Manor. Uh, so this is in my hometown. They have this cool historic mansion thingy and it's uh, one of the oldest homes and we'll just take pictures around. There's also a pretty waterfall on the other side. So let's do it. All right, one thing that I thought would be a pain with the Fuji X-T30 and is becoming a pain is the Q menu uh, button placement. I keep bumping it. So I'm either going to have to really work hard on my muscle memory for that or rip it off. Hey, we got some cool old ivy here. All right, photo tip. I always got to give you a photo tip. So people love doing photography here. I always see a lot of photographers doing engagement sessions and family sessions, and I've done them here. Uh, and one thing you need to worry about sometimes is the color of the ground. Shooting on red brick is tough because if the light reflects off, people's skin tones are more on the red side. You go back to your computer and you don't know what's going on. Uh, I always like shooting on gray or neutral uh, surfaces, but that's one thing that used to bug me in the beginning. I couldn't figure out why people's skin was off and uh, I was trying to correct the skin and I couldn't figure out why and it was shooting on red brick where light is reflected off is really tough on skin. Photo pro tip. Look at this goose over there. Let's see how close we can get before he uh, gets nervous. Okay, we're about this far away. Here we go, because we want to take a picture of you, goose. Maybe I should walk a little slower. Okay, good thing I've got my long lens here. Let's oh, look at this composition. Oh, look at this guy right here. So we just walked around a little bit. There he is, Mr. Majestic Goose over the waterfall. Let's do it. I guess I should be taking some cool slow motion B-roll. Is that what YouTubers do here? Okay, it's raining, of course, because anytime we come out to shoot, it rains. All right, first impression shooting the Fuji X-T30, wonderfully uh, familiar because it's just like the Fuji X-T20 in handling and size. I love the small camera form factor. Just really quick negatives, I'm hating. I shouldn't say that. I need more time with it, but the Q menu, I keep bumping it. Uh, so that is a big negative and somehow my film simulation changed to sepia. I have no idea why. But missing the D-pad for sure because I've set my screen to swipe to change film simulations. And same negative with all these cameras, the battery's about to die. So if I'm gone in a second, it's already flashing red. But uh, I have extra batteries, but my hands are cold. All right, I gotta go back to work, but I wanted to share a little bit of shooting with the Fuji X-T30 with you guys. And I promise I'll do more scientific tests and compare with the X-T20. Uh, for those of you that are wondering, should you buy this upgrade? Uh, or should you pick up a X-T20, which are um, crazy on sale now? So we'll talk about that. And let me know what you think below. Uh, keep the conversation going. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Freezing!